What the fuck is up? It's your boy Albert and welcome back to another no fap video on YouTube. Yeah, we out here um, in Mexico still. <laughs> Got a few more days left and uh, yeah, it's been raining the past few days. So I've been enjoying the rain and all that stuff. Um, anyways, let's jump straight to the juicy stuff here. No lawn intros, none of that. You're watching this video because you want to know how to deal with no fap flat lines and urges. Um, first of all, my last video, thank you guys so much for the, all the support on it. Um, and it was really, really, um, what's the right word? I'm very blessed and grateful to hear your perspective and your journey um, of this no fap slash semen retention uh, journey that you're doing. Um, so anyways, guys, today, what I wanted to talk about is the no fap flat line and what to do about that, what to do about your urges, because that was actually the top comment on the last video. So I um, figured, you know, I'd sit down and actually talk about it because as somebody who is on day 82, 83, got to check on that. But yeah, either day 82 or 83, um, I think I have a pretty fair perspective on how to overcome those little hurdles, if that's what you see them as. Um, of flatline um, and urges. So real quick, if you don't know what flatline is, if you're new to the NoFab journey, then flatline is pretty much just a period of time. Um, so you you know, you know go seven days, 14 days, whatever, and you feel all these amazing benefits. And then after a certain period of time, uh, you kind of feel like shit, you kind of feel depressed and you're like, well, what the fuck is the point of doing all this? You know, I'm gonna go bust, bust some trees, um, some nut trees. Anyways, so I have an answer for you that, you know, is based on my philosophy. It's not any science or anything like that. But what I believe for this to be is you have to realize that no fat is step one. Um, look, I know that that statement can be a little frustrating to hear because it's like, okay, I'm going to go watch somebody who tells me no fat is the ultimate solution. But guys, you can't just do the no fat semen retention, whichever one of the two journeys you're on. Um, I can explain the benefits in a different video, but you can't just do this without having something else um, powering the background of your life. Um, not even the background, the foregrounds, the, the main components, the foundations of who you are as a man. You gotta have those in place if you're on this journey. So what I mean by this is people will go into this and you know they'll continue their shitty habits every day of just laying around in bed, eating shit food, not exercising, uh, not meditating, all of those things. And yeah, when, when you go into those hurdles of questioning the e efficiency, if this is um, working or not, you know, it's, it's very easy to, um, to relapse that way. It's very easy to fall back into your old habits when you feel like, um, you're questioning something. So first things first, you got to have faith. Faith is a huge, 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 huge component. Um, and with faith is the ability to have discipline in a matter of flow. So um, I can talk about flow in a different video. In fact, I will. It's one of my main video ideas because the state of flow, um, you know, even if you don't want to watch my philosophy on it, go research the state of flow on YouTube. Um, the ability to have actual long-term discipline means that you're in, in my, in my best way, the way I've developed the most discipline in my life is to be in a state of flow, meaning things are just happening in a way where you're not forcing anything because the more you force into something, the more resistance you have to it and the more resistance you have to it, the less you align with that person that you're trying to force into. So, um, what I mean by this is you have to be that person that is able to watch and observe your thoughts and feelings without constantly being reactive to them. Um, I've been reading a lot and listening a lot to um, a philosopher, I don't, maybe that's his title, um, Neville Go Goddard. Goddard. Um, anyways, one of those like older, like Napoleon Hill, probably be way before Napoleon Hill, uh, Marcus Aurelius type of people. Um, anyways, there's this quote that he has that says, the minute you begin to discipline your mind by observing your thoughts and watching your thoughts throughout the day, you become the policeman of your thoughts. Refuse to enter into conversations that are unlovely. Refuse to attentively 
Refuse to listen attentively to anything that tears you down. Begin to build with your own mind's eye the vision of the perfect version rather than the vision of the foolish version. Listen only to the things that bring you joy when you hear them. Do not give a willing ear to that which is unlovely, which when you heard it, you wish you had not. That is listening and seeing things without oil in your lamp or joy in your mind. So check it out, guys. That feeling that you have, that that um, that urge, it, it's a normal feeling that you experience. In the same way where, like I said in my last video, you can't take one pill to fix all of this. You can't fix all your problems with one pill. Um, and the reason for that is because as much as we program our minds, as much as we program, you know, and feel our energy, yeah, you know, <laughs> get those gains, get the get the spiritual gains, all of that. Um, as much as we experience those things, it's still you still have to water your plant every day. And by that, it doesn't mean that you have to remove every thought because that's quite frankly, like you can't remove every thought. If you haven't done much meditation, I would say start there. Um, literally go download an app called Headspace, do the guided meditations, do 10 minutes a day. Shit, do even five minutes a day. It's better than just scrolling your phone all day without um, even giving yourself 10 minutes to breathe. Um, but anyways, so what I mean by this is when we face the flatline moments or the urge moments, um, it's very easy to justify your decisions if you're not aware of them. And so what we mistake in those moments is that it's a permanent thing that we're dealing with. And it's not a permanent thing because you're going to feel good sometimes and you're going to feel like shit sometimes. And it's really the moments that you feel like shit and can persist um, feeling through that shit is when you see the more, more of the light. Um, it's really like a universal law that I've kind of experienced on my journey, um, spiritually, um, uh, mindset growth, all of that. The more you can handle the shit and really just watch it, be the observer, you don't have to react to it. Um, in fact, even when you feel those moments of really feeling like, oh, is this worth it? Is it worth doing? Um, some people will say, you know, go harder, go to the gym until you like, you pass out and, um, you know, read books until you learn all the knowledge, you know, hustle, don't sleep at all. But, you know, that's, that's not the solution. You're going to get burnt out. So what I would actually suggest is allow yourself time to feel through it. If there's days on this journey that you feel like absolute shit, have those days and enjoy those days appreciate the feeling that you have be aware of that feeling um so like i i was thinking about it earlier uh, and i really think the urges and the flat line are kind of combined into one um into sort of a, an equation because urges equal emotions so urges are really just an emotional reaction to something that you're experiencing whether it's hardships in your life things like that and so when you feel the urges, and especially on the flatline urges, it's an emotional urge that you take action on. Does that make sense? So you're feeling the flatline, you're feeling the urges, whether you're on the flatline aspect or not. Um, usually flatline, has, for me, has lasted anywhere between one or two weeks from like, oh, is this worth it? Am I, am I gonna push through this? But pretty much, it's your ability to not react on it. It's to trust the process, it's to have faith. So that's why I speak about the importance about having actual principles and actual purpose in your life. Find things that you actually enjoy doing and follow those things and have those things work in synchronicity with this journey of NoFap. Um, and things get so much more easier and you get into that flow state so much faster. Um, but yeah, guys, I'm not going to overwhelm you with too much information in this video. This is my response to how I have dealt with this and my mindset on it. Um, but the bottom line here is embrace what you're going through. You know, it's you like once you reach a certain level of being able to go through so many things, um, that's really where your willpower and your overall power as a man is built through triumph and trials. You know, like even look at sports, the athletes that um you know go through so much shit just to win one championship or whatever i'm a hockey fan i've always loved alex ovechkin uh like go look at the time he won the stanley cup for the first time even if you're not a hockey fan just watch his expression 
Like I would much rather experience that type of win where I know I went through so much and it's the process, you know, loving the aspect of losing because if you're able to lose, as a matter of fact, fuck that. If you're not able to lose, you're not able to win and even appreciate your wins. So yeah, get comfortable with the feeling of loss, whatever that be. Um, and the reason I put it in quotes is, is because it's all an interpre interpretation of your mind. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to continue making these videos. Um, no fap as well as I have a whole array of other type of videos that I want to talk about. Um, so yeah, anyways, if you enjoy, make sure you give this video a like. Um, I, like I said, I really appreciated the support on the last video. Um, very overwhelmed and grateful. Um, it's awesome to have a new family of um, like-minded men out there. So anyways, guys, take care of yourself, take care of your health, get your energy right, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.